everyone. Today we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's, which is a horror game that was released recently on the PC. At least it's available on Desura, not available on Steam as of yet. I believe it's still on Steam Greenlight, but it seems to be doing well there. This game seems to have gotten a bit of a name for itself, seems to be getting a bit of popularity. The premise of the game is that we play as a night watchman, and uh, I think we'll just start the game and you can see where exactly we are. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's a family pizzeria looking for security guard. Well, we can do that. Work from 12 to 6? Sure. What could go wrong? So we're the night watchmen in a family pizzeria arcade sort of place. You may have been to a place like this as a kid. My memory was of a place called Showbiz Pizza. But a lot of you might have been to a place like this called Chuck E. Cheese. But that's not where we are. We're at Freddy Fazbear's. And we have to survive the night. We have to make it to 6 a.m. We have a limited amount of power, and everything we do uses power of some kind. Using the lights, using the doors, using the cameras will use power. We have to conserve as much power as possible. We might have to use the doors to protect ourselves, 
if uh, anything might be coming close by. Well, one of them is on the move. I've left the mouse cursor visible on the screen because the mouse cursor is used a lot in the gameplay of this. It's controlled entirely by mouse. He's moving fast, isn't he? We can see where we are. We're down there. We're you. And he's up here. Can't move while we're looking, but occasionally the lights do black out. Kind of funny how popular places like these were for kids, and how many people seem to be absolutely terrified of the animatronic singing animals. Interesting idea for a horror game. Kind of wonder why no one thought of that before. Uh, the other one's on the move. He's still pretty far away. He is not. But it's 4 a.m. And we have a pretty good amount of power left. The main animatronic Freddy is still on the stage. I'm sorry? Uh oh. Yep. That door can just remain closed for as long as he's out there. I don't think he can get through the door. Is he walking away? Yeah, there he is. I think that's him in the hallway. Yeah, that's him. Alright. Just want to open that up as soon as I can, because keeping the door closed does use power. You might think that's kind of a bad design, that the, keeping the door closed requires power, and if the door power runs out, the door is open. Especially on a night watchman job that appears to be as dangerous as this, but that's how it works at Freddy Fazbear's, I guess. You can see how much power I'm using by the green bars in the lower left. So if I just close the doors, both of the doors, see I'm using a lot more power now, so I can't do that. This does have to last all night. But I... oh, dining area went black. He's in the closet. What about the chicken? Oh wait, there's the bear, so... That must... That doesn't look like the chicken. But the bear's still there. The rabbit's gone. Where's the... There's the rabbit. It. See, there's nothing to this job. Just gotta keep your ears and your eyes open. Keep alert and conserve energy. It's a simple job. Snap. Day two, uh, congrats. I, I won't talk 
quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come on stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon! Two on the stage. That's not the rabbit, is it? That's something different entirely. There's the rabbit. Okay, so there's a fourth one on Pirate Cove. Well, that's no problem. There's only one on the move. We handled two last night. All we need to do is conserve our energy. We have 76% left, or probably almost at 2 o'clock right now. Don't panic. Just, you know, keep aware of what's going on. Don't use the cameras all the time. Just, you know when it seems like it might be necessary. We have to check in every so often on, on how, how they're doing, where they are, just keeping tabs on things. But you don't have to keep track of them all the time, we'll just waste power if we do that. I remember going to Showbiz Pizza. Kids loved going there for birthday parties. I mean, why wouldn't they? It was great, you know, had the food, the type of food kids liked. Lots of pizza, lots of arcade games. And of course there was the band, the animatronic band. Now you kind of wonder why someone came up with that now. What? 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 